Morning everyone, Rick the Static Nomadic here. Day 29 and uh, we rolled out uh, a little later than I wanted to but we also had to wait for the pharmacy to open here at Sam's. He had to pick up some medicine. So uh, he's grabbing that now and hopefully we can get on the road here pretty quick. I do want to show you something about my shifter that I have discovered and I've tried it repeatedly and it has worked repeatedly and I think it's very interesting hopefully you'll find it is just as interesting probably something most of you never thought of alright I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> what I've discovered on this and I have tried this three times this will be the fourth it has worked every time so I We'll see if it lets me down now that I'm on camera. Notice I have a do not shift light on and a blank display. All right, when I fired it off, the lights flashed a few times and then went out. <clears throat> and that's when the do not shift light comes on. This is what it's been doing. I'm gonna have to fire off the generator and I'll show you an interesting deal on this whole thing all right I'm sure you can hear the generator running and you're probably wondering why did I need the generator what I have noticed on this is it only does it in the cooler temps if it if this coach is nice and warm inside say it's been basking in the Sun most of the day I come in, hit the key, everything will be fine. If I do this first thing in the morning when it's cold, that's when it will do it. So, air dryer. I'm going to kick that on high and I'm going to warm that box down there for about three to five minutes. got it nice and warm now I'm going to turn the ignition off to start it again voila that is the whole deal it obviously has a bad solder joint inside of this ECU When it gets cold, it has a problem making the connection. So I'm going to pull this shifter out when we get up in our campsite. And I'm going to pull those screws off to see if I can locate the connection that is bad and hopefully resolder it and fix this. Hey everyone, we made it. It was a, kind of a tough pull. Um, but, hey, we expected that. So, anyway, here we are. We're probably going to change our arrangement tomorrow, but for now, I'm just trying to get leveled up. But I'll tell you what, I love having the awning on this side, away from the wind. Yeah. And having the sunrise so I don't know maybe not if I can get leveled up here it'll work for me well I got it leveled up pretty good but we got a storm coming in so <clears throat> I'm gonna stick with what I got wait for this uh, storm to move through and then <clears throat> fix it tomorrow. Notice how high <laughs> off the ground these are. Yeah, ain't even touching. The 
front is the exact same way. Now it'd be a good time to change my brakes if I needed them. <laughs> Rainmaker Rick, hard at it. Haven't been here in an hour. <laughs> yeah, geez. Well, the rain didn't last all that long. <clears throat> but the wind's pretty consistent right now, so... Yeah, anyway. It's been a fun and interesting day. No doubt. We made it here. We got set up. Might rearrange the wagons tomorrow. But other than that, we're here for the night. And even though it's slightly windy, that wind feels so good. It's, it's like natural air conditioning. So, yeah. Kind of an awesome thing. Anyway, hope you guys had a great day. Hope you have a great night. Peace out.